Hi, welcome back to Follow the Build. It's James and Ross here again from Ribeye. We're in the fit out area. Um, it's Tuesday evening and we just wanted to talk about this really cool 811 that we've got in build at the moment. Is there anything particular on this that stands out to you, Ross? Yeah, thanks, James. So um, this particular project has been fitted out by our boat builders, Mitch and Ellis. And it's certainly, I think, one of the more high spec 811s we've ever built. Um, you may have seen a couple of the boats built with um, T-tops in the past and beside us here we have one of the standout units. It's um, a Carbon Master T-top that integrates with our ever popular Ergo Suspension Helm Station. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the seating and then James, you want to talk us through like, the construction and the benefits of our T-top? Absolutely, yeah. Cool. So, um, you know, there is lots of suspension seat options available on the market but we didn't just want to tick that box. We really wanted to design something actually truly works and something that when you couple a seat system with a ribeye deep v hull something that really enhances your time on the water so um we've just got one of our bucket seats rested on there but here you can see the shock suspension unit that we actually fit tons of trouble travel in that sorry and when you couple that with this um bucket seat you really do get an ultimate driver's experience. Now, James, do you want to talk us through the bolster? Yeah, we put a lot, didn't we, into designing this because obviously there's loads of features as we always say on our boats to make them really, really kind of cool day boats to relax and enjoy time around the beach or just exploring. But one of the things that we've always made, looked to maintain on a ribeye, you know, is how they drive and, you know, they feel alive and really feel like they've got a soul. And part of that is obviously ergonomics in terms of, you know, the, um, the driving console, but also the seating. So this seat particularly, um, we gave three options here. So you've obviously got your kind of your bolster position, which also allows you to sort of stand up. We brought these bits really far forward. So, you know, you've got some protection, you know, a, a, a in the rough sea. But equally, as you put the bolster down, say you're running water sports or whatever, we actually cut this out larger. So when you're sat in the seat, if you want to swing round and check, your leg actually fits in there really nice. And then couple that with the suspension system that Ross was talking about it just gives an incredibly comfortable driving experience so when you're going long journeys you get off the boat feeling really not fatigued at all um, this boat has got as, as Ross said has got the the t-top and going back to that whole you know really concentrating on on not affecting the boat's performance lots of boats will just you know bolt a t-top on the top of a boat boat but really what you want to do is keep the, the center of gravity as low as possible. So we engineered this to be super strong so it doesn't sh shake or make much noise, but kept it as light as possible. So what we've got is we've got a carbon mast that goes into a lightweight e-glass part here. And then we have a super lightweight aluminium top that goes on and a fabric top. So when you're in there, you feel really protected. And you couple that with the really cool, you know, up, upright windscreen that we have. And you feel unbelievably protected whilst being really comfortable with the suspension. So that, that kind of whole area of the boat, how good it is and how it makes you feel is something we always say to our clients, isn't it? It's like come down I'm and, and, and yeah. see how we build our boat, see the lengths we go to, but also get out on the water with us. We've obviously got our, our ribeye jetty with our demo fleet on there. Um, and that's when you really, really do feel the difference in the ribbon. For sure. And it's, it's one of those features as well. Um, you know, T-tops actually look really cool as well. And by doing it with carbon really sets this boat off a light. And as we board the boat in a moment, you'll see we've got a deck fitting where we're going to have some rigging coming up through the deck up to the top here. Because we're going to mount our, um, our anchor surround light on the top. But also, um, Mitch and I haven't fitted it yet, but there will be some downwards lighting as well. So... If you're at anchor or if you're in a marina having a sundown or something like that, you'd be able to really like nicely illuminate the deck area to chill out, which is good for functional boarding as well and things like that. But um, should we jump in the boat and have Let's a little look it. at the dash specification? Yeah. Before we jump up into the boat, guys, this is obviously an ergo console for a white gel coat project that we're working on. You can see here um, the boat, the console, sorry, is being prepared for two 12 inch plotters. Um, you know, with white gel coat, it really shows off our drainable cup holders, the recessed dash, and all of these sort of mouldings are quite complex and come out of split tooling, which we talk you through the process of that in another video. But dual GPS, as you can see, this boat's got a single GPS. Over to you, James. Yeah, absolutely. So again, obviously, as we've talked about before, we've got this really great bit of under console storage here. So this takes all of your, you know, your, your, your instrument covers and stuff like that. Um, and comes off in a really easy way by pulling the, the hinges out so you can get access should you need to we talked about it before where you know we've angled the speakers up so you know you can hear them really really well this has obviously got the new yamaha on that we spoke about so we've got the new yamaha throttle here and we've got the 12 inch garmin and i always i've mentioned this before but i always love it the fact that garmin and yamaha have partnered on the gauge 
So the new Yamaha gauges are a mini version of the Garmin 12. So exactly the same, that's the 8400 series. So when you set this up, it all starts to really, really tie together. Um, loads of protection from the windscreen. Um, so yeah, all in all, this boat is coming together really, really well. All right, guys, before we wrap this video up, a quick just run through of what the A811 deck configuration comes with. So at the bow, you've got a drainable anchor locker with two cup holders there. You'll see the notch out in the locker lid so you can close that whilst the anchor line is deployed. Um, a standard on all revise, you have the hinge flip, um, pieces of flipped upholstery, so non-slip boarding throughout, which is really safe and just works well. And it stops you standing on cushions, so nothing to wear out over time, most importantly. Um, as you can see, James and I sat in the bow here as well. We're seeing more and more clients specifying um, table uh, deck inserts for the pedestals in the bow and the stern. So you can kind of, you might want the back of the boat in sunbed mode and this for sort of picnics. Um, I think that's what this boat offers really well, doesn't it? This is the two, the two areas. So, you know, we've got our aft sunbed, which is made by the back seat coming off. Yep. And then obviously the, the, the front here fills in as well. So you can either have your table at the front, sunbed at the back or, or both ways. I think a little feature to pick up here as well is why we shape this U-berth like this. And certainly in this side of boat, first thing is because the bow's coming up really well, you feel really protected and really inside this boat and very, very safe. But when you time to tend to get this sort of size boat and you bring in U-berth, which is kind of typical, you get to a point here where everyone's sort of feet, feet are, are all over each other, where sure. what we've done is we've shaped this out. So actually when you come into these areas, you know, you've got a proper amount of space and you know, leaning back on the tube, you've just got this like really comfortable, secure area to chill and also safe in when you're going along. That's so, certainly a benefit of that high bow, isn't it? You know, mm. this is a brand new hull, so it's an epic sea boat, Incredible. perfect for going through chop, be it in the mm. Solent or around start point on the way to Sulcombe from Dartmouth, but also, as you say, you literally cannot fall out at the front, no, it's so high. it's awesome, it? so. it's awesome. So yeah, super excited to get this boat on the water. Yeah. So um, so next week we're gonna talk about another 811, which again plays down to that kind of customization. That's being built for a large super yacht and has the new Wasp DRX system in it. So I'll take you all through that next week, but that's a really exciting project. Thanks guys. Cheers.